uh hi guys so there's a question about um i forgot the question that is the name but then pretty much we have to create uh what's this instruction where the user enters a certain string which has like um characters such as s s s l l whatever and then we create uh we decode that uh string and then we create an output where the user can uh do whatever they want to do so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And uh, before I do that, I decided to take this approach where we go through the algorithm and how everything is going to look, and then we will code it, and then we'll see how it looks. Is this the right one? I think it is. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to request input from the user using the input box. So we need to create an input box. And then we need to receive uh, uh, what's this information from that input box. And then after we receive information from that input box, we need to use that information to create a set of directions for our robot. In this case, the robot that we're working with. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we want to do. So let's see how we're going to do this. So this will take place on the click event. So I will, I'm just creating this activate button here, but then you can do it whichever way that you do it. In our case, it will be the activate button. So when the user selects the activate button, we want to begin with this thing. So the first thing that we need to do in this case, uh, we need to create an input box where the user will receive, will where like there will an input box will pop up and then the user will enter whatever they want to enter and uh, we need to request that that information so first of all let's create an input box so remember the purpose of creating an input box is to receive input from the user so i'm gonna call this input string that's what i'm gonna call it and then i'm gonna create an input box uh interaction in anyway yeah interaction input box Okay, so the first thing is the prompt um, title. Uh, okay, I'll just say testing. Uh, another title, give directions. Okay, and then what's the next thing? Default response. We don't want anything inside our default response. Uh, it's going to be different in C Builder than here. Uh, let me just say 10. 10. This is the position of the the buttons that I'm working with. So the way the an input box is designed in such a way is designed in such a way that whatever the input, whatever the user enters inside the input box, that value will be stored inside this input string. So remember, an input box is a function and it returns a string. So that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. So now we have the string. So let's see the next step. So okay. So this, the next step is to receive input from the user so we created an input box we need to receive input from the user and now use the input to count the number of characters so now the reason why i want to count the number of characters is because i want to create a loop so i'm going to do something like this i'm going to create an integer that is x an integer that is y you understand while i do this why am i creating uh sorry 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 well x is less than y What's the value of y? The value of y is input string dot the length thereof. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is if the user enters a string such as uh, s s s s d blah 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 blah, I want to count the number of characters here, create a loop, and in this loop, I will go through each and every single character, and then after going through each and every single character, I'm gonna then create uh, was this a switch statement and in the switch statement I'll say okay if it's an S write this output if it's an S write this output if it's a D write this output and so on and so on and so on that's what I'm trying to do here as you can see count the number of characters to create a while loop which will switch through each character and then create an output terminate the loop that's what we're trying to do and so I'll say X plus plus. The reason why I'm saying X plus plus is because I want the loop to terminate. So I'll create a switch statement here. Switch, uh, okay, nothing that I need to do here. Let me just create a, a character. I'll just call direction. Um, and then I'll go through the input string X. So remember at this point, the value of X is zero. So X will loop 
until what until x is less than y so if y is 10 this thing will terminate when x is 9 so remember this is the index i think i explained it in the previous video how indexes work uh, so i'm not going to go through them again right now uh, but if you want to see go to the previous video that i posted about uh reversing a string then you will understand how indexes work okay so we have this and then oh the switch statement is below here so that's our switch statement we'll switch direction <laughs> That sounds strange switching direction okay so we'll switch direction in the case where um direction is um i think oh another thing that i need to do here i'll tell you why now i want to make my input string uh to upper and the reason why i want to make everything here direction is this correct oh sorry the reason why I want to make everything to uppercase is because sometimes a user might enter a lowercase s and an uppercase s. So I don't want to do s, case s, and then uh, go again and then do case um, s. I don't want to do that. Um, I don't think it's really the smart thing to do in this case. So um, if, if the case is s, I think we have a certain direction. I'm, I'm avoiding to open uh what's this uh the this cool thing part of the reason is because um this copyright issue so i can't i can't open uh school work it was this material from tut or else i'm gonna get sued for copyright issues and publishing school material uh <laughs> and all those things okay so uh so remember when the case is s Take this rich edit and then print something into it. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So the name of the rich edit is this uh, append string. We're gonna um, append string. I think in C builder is rich output um, docs lines dot add and then you add your string here. That's how it looks, but in here it's it's something slightly different. It's slightly different from that. Um, that append and then uh, environment dot new line. Okay, um, plus okay environment dot new line plus what? Plus uh, let me say. You get the idea okay and then I'm gonna break it here and then I'll come back again and then and say in the case of R uh, okay I can just do a copy paste here it doesn't really matter uh, that's the beautiful thing about copy paste sometimes it can be brief and quick okay um, R copy paste 10 left 10 right okay copy paste and then L I'll say 10 left and then I'll create the last break here so in C++ builder it's going to look something like this you'll have case Okay, let me just do it down here. In C++ Builder, you'll have something like case. Um, okay, you'll have, say, case R, same syntax, and then it's going to be rich output, whatever the, the name of the rich edit box is called, uh, uh, rich edit dot lines dot add, and then you will say, okay, and left break case v whatever uh, v uh, rich output that lines that add um, go home <laughs> so we have something like this 
obviously with a brick at the end but then at that point anyway so you get the picture that's pretty much how it looks um so let's see if this fun if this thing functions well um and um and yeah uh, i don't think i did any mistake yeah Okay, activate, testing. So you will put whatever you want to put here. The message that you put here, you will say maybe give directions, whatever, because you can see I switched the two things here. Uh, you will just play around with testing and give directions. That's what you will do. Um, so in this case, we have um, SS, let's put random things. V R L S S R R L L S S. And let's see, okay. And now that's what we have. Uh, we have move forward, turn right, blah, 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 blah. So some of those other things that were not necessary, they got, uh, what's this? Um, they didn't execute. For instance, if I put a V, when it gets to the switch statement, it's not going to print anything. And that's the nice thing about it. And uh, I think from here we're done. Uh, it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. So that's how you do with this one here. Uh, I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, close. The thing anyway it's fine i don't want to take more time so yeah um post any questions if there's anything that you would like me to add or improve into this just uh let me know cheers guy bye